Hello and welcome to God's Word for today. My name is Brenda Gross. It's good to be with you. Good to be in the house of the Lord. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. And it truly is a pleasure to come into his house, worship him in spirit and in truth. And the Bible says that those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. said, God is a spirit. Praise God. So, God is a spirit. And we are spiritual beings. God breathed the breath of life into man. And the Bible says man became a living soul. A spiritual being. And there's a a Jewish Bible. It's called the Kamash. And they tell me that it says that man became another speaking spirit. Another speaking spirit. Isn't that good? With the ability to speak and create like God speaks. With the ability to speak and create like God does. See, we're created in His image. The Bible says that God said, Let us make man in our image and in our likeness and let them have dominion over the earth and over every creeping thing on the earth it's good to know we've got dominion over creeps don't it (laughs) got dominion over creeps (laughs) that's good it's good to know so man was created like God God created us in his likeness, in his image, and he gave us the ability to speak like he speaks. Now, a lot of people don't believe that, but that's what the Bible clarifies. That's what the Bible teaches. I didn't write it. That's what the Bible teaches. Jesus bore witness to that. He said, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Mark 11, be plugged up and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe the things which he says, which he saith, King James said, the things which he says, shall believe the things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. Somebody might say, well, Brenda, you think I can just say anything and it'll happen? If I believe it, I didn't say that. Jesus said that. Jesus said that. But he's talking in light of the things of the kingdom. He's talking about man having authority. See, there's some things that we say that we're supposed to say, we're supposed to speak to. Because Jesus said it. Well, on the next verse, this is Mark 11, I think it's 23, 24, 22, 23, and 24. It says, whatsoever things you desire when you pray. See, there's things that we're supposed to say, and there's things that we pray about. It says, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, that you receive them, and you shall have them. Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe you receive. So when do you receive them? When you pray and believe. When you believe you receive. Not when you have them. Because you couldn't, you wouldn't need faith to believe if you already had something. So you believe and receive them when you pray. Whatsoever things you desire. When you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. That's what Jesus said. 
Because it don't take faith when you've already got something in your hand. It don't take any faith when you already see it, when it's already there. Faith is you believe you receive when you pray. Praise God. You believe right then, right then when you pray, you believe that you receive. That goes for healing. That goes for finances. That goes for anything. Even salvation. You believe in the Lord Jesus. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. Or believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. I believe. I receive salvation from the Lord. I believe the Lord has saved me. And the Bible says you'll have it. Mm -hmm. Same thing goes with healing. Same thing goes with prosperity. Everything that God has provided for us, we receive it by faith. It has to be received by faith. Everything in the kingdom of God has to be received by faith. It's already been provided for through Jesus Christ. Jesus. 